Hi, I'm here with Jason Chang from Microchip, and Jason is going to talk to us a little bit about a new reference design for a silicon carbide powered inverter. So Jason, uh, yes. tell me a little bit about what we have behind us. What we have behind us is a 30 kilowatt design for a three-phase Vienna PFC. Typically used like in the EV charging applications. It's scalable. So we designed this to help customers jumpstart silicon carbide designs with our products. How many uh, silicon carbide transistors does this use? Now this uses a bank of six per bank per switch. It currently uses our 1200 volt silicon carbide and we're converting to 700 volts pretty soon and then it'll be at a full 30 kilowatt capacity. And if you were trying to do this with a silicon design, how big would it be? Well, we haven't tried it with silicon, but based on calculations, it could be as large as maybe two and a half, three X the size because all the larger filters and capacitors are needed for the heat sinking. And this is a reference design, so it's, it's real. It's not a laboratory curiosity. Correct. We work with our partner, North Carolina State University. So their power lab, they actually have all the equipment. They showed us, they walked us through it and tested it with the actual test data to support the references. Why don't we take a good look at some of the uh, components on this? Sounds good. So our silicon carbide MOSFETs are soldered vertically onto the board. These are TO247 packages. To accommodate the heat source, what heat sinking, what we've done is put the fans next to them and clip them on, particularly onto our devices with special um, paste in the back to transfer the heat to the heat sink. So this is the silicon carbide portion of that. What you see surrounding that are all the magnetics in the front here and the filters, the line filters and Y, y filters all on the edge of the right side of the design here. That's to stabilize and keep the signals cl as clean as possible to the device. It could take 208, but we, we tested it primarily at 380 to 400 volt AC input and it's a 780 volt DC output to support the DC converter stage of the charging design. What we also have here, another important aspect is the controller card. This is a newly ported DSPIC32CH um, microcontroller DSP from Microchip. And what it does is it does all the control and monitoring of all the functional parameters of the silicon carbide when it's switching and the PWM characteristic, switching characteristics of our Vienna rectifier. This board will be much more compact in a newer version as we get rid of the, some of the connectors and compact everything down to size even smaller. Well, Jason, where would people go to get more information about this uh, reference design? Well, they can go to our website. Uh, currently, it's still microsummit.com and soon will be microchip.com. As you know, we're a microchip company now. So on our website, or they can contact any sales office and we'll be happy to get them information. Oh, that's great. That's yeah. a good example of what you can do with silicon carbide. Yes. Thank you. Thanks.